Prepare your stomachs and feast your eyes. It's time for a Kansai Region food tour. I've come today to the Dotonbori district of Osaka, Japan. Now, there are different words to live by depending on the city that you're in and different ways that you can come to ruin. In Tokyo, they say it's the amount of money that you'll spend on shoes. In Kyoto, it's the amount of money they say you'll spend on fashionable clothes. And here in Osaka, they say it's the amount of money that you'll spend on the delicious food. They actually have a specific word for it, kui de ore. And that literally means to spend yourself into ruin on what's on offer here to eat. Now, if I were to think of one way that I would like to go of those three, definitely death by food would be the option I pick. So let's go and see what they have here. Come along and we'll try some of this delicious food. You'll find a lot to look at and enjoy about Dotonbori the moment you start walking down the canal. And definitely a lack of variety is not a problem they suffer from here. You name it, they've got it. Seafood restaurants, kushikatsu, which is an irresistible kind of deep fried stick food, by the way. Sweets, of course, ramen, and many more. But for me, I thought I would go for a classic. Takoyaki, or octopus balls for the uninitiated, is a treat born in Kansai region, specifically Osaka. To tell you the truth, I normally struggle to enjoy it, but on this day, in the birthplace of its popularity, Dotonbori finally got the flavors right. So this is the octopus wheat flour ball. It's very simple. Wheat flour, octopus, it has some pickled ginger in it as well, a little bit of bonito flakes on top, uh, perhaps some mayonnaise sometimes, and then as well a little shoyu soya sauce spread over top, which is super delicious. Now most important to this whole experience is that it must be fresh. I had my initial impression ruined for takoyaki because I had it reheated or had purchased it and then let it cool down. If you want those flavors to pop, you want to get it when it's totally fresh like this, and you can absolutely find that like we did if you come to Dotonbori. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Just, just as I'd hope, flavors coming out so much. I'm not even usually a fan of Bonito Flakes, but with this sort of flavor combination, it works very, very well. Oh yeah, and totally guilty of absolutely loving mayonnaise. I have to rein this in, and it seems like the Japanese have a love affair with it as well. It's a dangerous love affair, dangerous, dangerous love affair, but almost impossible to resist. So of course, the form that we find Dotonbori in today is not how it always was. The development started back in the 1600s with an enterprising businessman who thought he would increase the commercial viability of the area uh, were he to expand the river. And it worked, because within 50 years there were six kabuki theaters and five bunraku theaters, uh, which are a kind of puppet theater. So when I say that Osaka is bohemian, and colorful. It definitely started a long time ago. Our food journey is of course not over, not by far. We are, though, faced with the difficult question, what next? Sometimes an abundance of choice is more a curse than a blessing. What do we choose? When faced with a thousand choices, we think, how will I ever make the right decision? Fear not, that's why I'm here. It's obvious what we should do. All right, now we're doing a little bit of sit-down fare. We're not just gonna do the street food and be out next to the canal, lovely as that is. I've come in here today to try some of Dotonbori's Okonomiyaki, and that is the Japanese savory pancake. Now, there's a couple ways that you can have this and a couple different styles depending on the city that you're in. So first of all, you're gonna order the ingredients that are gonna be inside of your pancake, and that can be, it would be something like seafood, or you're going to have beef, or you're going to have pork, or you're going to have vegetables, or a mix. 
and then all those ingredients you will mix together and you make your delicious pancake maybe top it all off with mayonnaise we have some sauces alongside here as well but they are mixed together that's distinct in osaka whereas if you go to hiroshima for example were you there then the ingredients will be layered as opposed to mixed together and in addition to that they'll often include some kind of noodle which is a cool variety if you're into trying something a little bit different. So as I mentioned, there are quite a number of flavors that you could choose from here, but I haven't had pork in a while and it just so happens that's one of my favorite animals. Actually, when I was young, I used to live on a hobby farm and my family raised pigs there among many other things. So I always get a little bit nostalgic for it sometimes, but enough talk, let's discuss these flavors. Mm-hmm. Fresh, fresh ingredients, tasting that immediately. Mmm. I went with the sweeter sauce that they had available. I had two options for that that you put on. I'm enjoying that. And what's not to like about pancakes? So if you've ever seen pictures of Dotonburi on Instagram, then this guy has probably showed up there. He's the sort of, you might say, unofficial mascot of the area, and he is associated with food as well. Uh, he went up in 1935, and he is associated with the company that makes Pocky. And if you don't know what Pocky is, they're this delicious little snackable carbohydrate stick that is dipped in a variety of different flavors from strawberry to matcha and all that. Just like Kit Kat has a lot of flavors here in Japan, so does Pocky. So if you do make it down to Dotenbury, be sure, of course, to get a picture with Glyco Man because it's a long-standing tradition. You'd think with all that takoyaki and okonomiyaki filling my belly, I am satisfied. But that is until I pass a really good deal for some gyoza. And there was one. It was about 500 yen, about $5 roughly, for six and a beer. And that was an offer I could not refuse. Also a great way to cap off the whole day. The heavy lifting is done. Or the heavy chewing, we'll say. Maybe that's more accurate. The food was fantastic. Really, really good. Don't usually like takoyaki. I like it when it's this fresh and this delicious. I don't often eat okonomiyaki. That was fantastic. Really, really good. Now, like I'm chilling next to this guy, a little shout out here for the art along the canal. There's this mural, but then for a significant portion of the canal, there's these murals all the way along. In fact, I think there's some art that's been done on one of my friend's guitars that was from an artist down that way, which is super cool. So if you're not just into the foodie thing, but you like snapping a few shots, you are gonna find some really great opportunities here. This was so much fun to make. I'll probably be coming back here to make more videos because I saw a bunch of great seafood restaurants and I love seafood, especially crab. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care out there, be safe, and that's all for now.